one thing that Jordan did that showed me he's going to be all right in this league actually happened in training camp of his rookie year. Jordan came into camp talking shit to everybody. And I remember one day, uh, him and Glenn Robinson the third, they got into it. All these guys are coming to me like, tell him to shut up. His young ass always got something to say. But I'm like, I'm not going to tell him to shut up. If you can't handle him talking shit, that's on you. At that moment, though, the way he was getting under guy's skin, I appreciated that. Ah, that's pretty interesting. Uh... Much, much, much later. Oh, get some of that shit. Oh, oh shit, who are you? Oh, oh damn. Why are you just a nigga punch me like that? See that nigga reach, cuz? I ain't fucking with him. Soon after. I was wrong for my actions that took place on Wednesday. And for that, um, you know, I have apologized to my team. Um, I have apologized to Jordan. And, you know, um, I wanted to take that a step further, uh, you know, with with the event yesterday, uh, with the video leaking, um, there's a there is a huge embarrassment that comes with that. Not not only for myself, as 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 I was the one that committed the action, the embarrassment that comes for me uh, is what it is. And that's something that I have to deal with. But the embarrassment uh, that Jordan has to deal with and that this team has to deal with, that this organization has to deal with, but also. Uh, Jordan's family, you know, uh, his family saw that video. Um, his mother, his father saw that video. And quite frankly, if if my mother saw that video, I know how my mother would feel. I know what her next react, I know what her reaction would be and I know what her next step would be. And so for that, I apologize to his mother and his father and, you know, his family, his friends uh, that care for him. So it seems that the uh, Michigan State Michigan rivalry is still still afoot. The Michigan, well, <laughs> still going hard. Let me find out. That's what that was over. Yeah, I highly you stop doubt a it. in your legs this year. Bet you don't. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, watch what happens. All right, well, show me right now, then. <laughs> you better back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Whew. No, there, there's been a lot of. Different stories that I've seen, mostly fake, it seems, as to what specifically caused the situation between Draymond and Jordan Poole. What's the most popular scenario? At the end of the day, a lot of people are just saying that Jordan Poole was talking mad shit. Because apparently he's the shit talker of the team. And also, I heard that there, you know, maybe somebody, and and I should say that Steve Kerr and and, and I think uh, Bob Myers, is that the Oh, Bob owner? Myers. I, I, believe, I don't uh, know if he's the owner. He's the... Uh, the uh, GM. GM. There you go. They both have said that this was untrue and it's just a false report, but that, you know, since your man's got his chip and he got his check, he been acting as such. Mm-hmm. He's been carrying himself a little bit different. And obviously you can see some jawing going on between the two. Oh, yeah. Prior to the altercation, regardless of what it's over, because they may never come out and tell us about what actually was said. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They probably they, won't. They probably will. They will. It'll come It'll. Out. Maybe It'll leave. come out just like the the Draymond um, calling Kevin Durant a bitch thing, even though that kind of happened on TV. <laughs> Regardless of why this happened, it seems that people have been on the Internet so much that they've forgotten that the threat of physical violence is very real and ever present. So glad you feel this way about it. I, I think people have been tucked in these houses and on these damn screens so long that y'all have forgotten that y'all can get y'all ass beat. At any given moment. Mm-hmm. No, it's not right. No, it's not the way we should handle our disputes. No, the person who did it should not be praised for their behavior. No, I would not tell my children to behave that way. Well, in self-defense, here's the thing. Understanding that physical violence is ever present and possible at any given moment. I would never Put my hands on another grown ass man. I don't intend on fighting. I just, I just wouldn't do that. I, I was taught to defend myself when somebody is pressing my bubble, mm-hmm. let alone shoving me. Yes, correct. Now talking shit is one thing. Everybody know what this mean. Everybody know what this mean. You don't want no smoke, hey bro. I don't want no smoke, bro. I'm cool, bro. You got it. So simple. I'm cool. Everybody knows what this means. Everybody also knows what backup mm-hmm. means. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying that that I'm not even saying that Draymond Green didn't instigate 
the situation because without hearing what was said, I watched Draymond Green walk right up to Jordan Poole. And got right up in his face. So I knew what was going on. Mm-hmm. Why didn't Jordan Poole? Jordan Poole knew what was going on because he shoved the shit out of him. <laughs> and then dropped his hands. So I'm, I'm confused why you knew enough to check him and regain some distance, but not enough to put your hands up, fam. Especially with Draymond's wingspan. This is it's not during a game where guys are going to fake fight for the cameras. Yeah. Y'all in practice, obviously whatever y'all's talking about got heated. He came and invaded your space. Time to defend yourself. Mhm. I wouldn't even let him get that close to me. Yeah, no, Jordan Poole should have definitely been the one to to if if anything pull that punch. Like he clearly sh- showed that he was defending himself by by shoving Draymond Green. Yeah. Why there was no follow up? Like that was just gonna be enough. I don't know. Maybe he just didn't expect Draymond Green to punch him. I don't know why though. At least protect. I don't your know grill. why. At least protect your grill. Like he's not. He's not gonna put me to sleep. <laughs> not laughing matter. Like he probably he probably kept you from getting some more damage from falling and hitting your head. Yeah. Yeah, and um, not a sucker punch. No, absolutely not. Not a sucker punch. Now, was it was him, it you... unwarranted? Was it unneeded? Absolutely. Sure, you can say all of those things. The you, it could be all of that. The one thing it is not is a sucker punch. I walked walked you down right <laughs> in your face, right in your grill, mm-hmm. and even gave you an opportunity to hit first. Not a sucker punch. Not even close. He should have seen that coming. At least. Protect your grill, bro. Stay dangerous. What, what's Protect up with you? Protect yourself at all times. And the minute that man invaded your space, he's danger close. So if you don't want none, let him know you don't want none. Yep. Shoving the man is not a way of knowing that. That's not a way of telling him that. Mm-hmm. That you didn't want to fight. If you didn't want to fight, there's definitely better ways that you can handle that other than shoving him. Mm-hmm. If we're saying that none of this was warranted, as Steph Curry, Steph Curry said, like there's no reason for that to have happened like that. What he's saying in actuality is that whatever it is that y'all was bickering about was nowhere near big enough for y'all to be fighting over. Mm -hmm. So as much as you want to talk about Draymond Green and how he didn't have to do what he wanted to do, the whole conversation didn't happen. happen. Yeah. The the back and forth didn't have to happen. The shove didn't have to happen. Obviously, the punch didn't have to happen. Mm -hmm. But they all happened in succession. They all happened because of each other. Mm -hmm. You don't get one without the other. So... The next thing that we got to talk about, though, is how this shit came out. Because little do y'all know that these niggas fight all the time in practice. Uh, Steve Kerr know. Steve Kerr knows. Kobe Bryant know. Yep. Infamous story of Shaquille O'Neal smacking the shit out of Kobe Bryant and them having a brawl. We never saw it on, on tape. We never saw Kobe get emasculated on film like we just seen happen to Jordan Poole. I don't even understand how this was. From the from the team though, like them TMZ got the racks, boy. TMZ got it. They, they said getting 50, to it. Fifty to hundred k for the person who who submitted that video. They are getting to it. Here's the interesting thing though with that, and so I learned through the Amber Heard trial, the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial, that the only way that they can release stuff like that super quickly is if they verified it with the source, mm. or if the source has submitted it. So right. The, so does a person who works for them, like a I videographer? I guess if you're talking about a company, it would have to be an employee. Which, yeah, no. Right? They so it has point. to be an employee for you to be able to verify who the parties are because you were technically there, right? Because mm-hmm. uh, you were a witness to it. Or it could have been one of the, the individuals, which I don't, I don't think they would have no reason to, to, to do that. Especially, but yeah, Draymond or it doesn't Jordan look Poole. good for either one of them. So I don't think for it's sure. that. For sure. But it, but just the fact that you would be so brazen as to be an employee of that organization and leak that, they giving racks for this type of shit. TMZ yeah. got long money, boy. Yeah. I mean, that's, they that's got how long they make their bread. money. Because essentially you just had me give up my position because they're going to find out who it was through process of elimination. Sure. They'll probably ask them for their phones at some point. Would have had to have been somebody, in my estimation, somebody who had a relationship with a, a TMZ staffer. So that type of connection is is kind of easy to flesh out. Well, they're very close to what TMZ does their stuff in, in L.A. So 
but for them to get it so quickly. The reason why that was so important in the depth trial is because they were able to post, they posted that video and they were able legally to post it mm -hmm. within days of receiving it because of who it came from. Now, she never admitted it, but a lot of people believe that it was Amber Heard who sent him the video of him slamming cabinets and shit. That would make sense. So the quickness in which you get footage to this stuff determines who you get it from most of the time. Yeah. That makes sense because they're not going to go through the verification process if it comes from that and, inside And once they find it. out that it was you, you obviously going to be fired and blackballed from ever getting an NBA job again. For sure. So, like, is that check really worth it? 100K is not worth it. That's, oh that's shit! For 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 it an depends on what I'm doing for the for the, for the, well, not an the organization. For, I for guess. somebody in the organization, that's a, a, a year probably, maybe. What if you was one of the uh, to the one of the the water boys and you knew where the video recording equipment was and okay. you just so happened to snag a that, tape? That is fair. So then it's maybe hundred k or is, my sixty five k salary, if that. But I, I see no. your point. Yeah, I see your point. That's that's fair. Also, can we stop referring to Jordan Poole as a little boy? Absolutely wild that people Who are the saying. the hell called him a little boy? Draymond knew not to to punch that little boy like that, and I've seen I've seen it multiple times. Or what? or just people considering Draymond for being wrong for attacking the young boy or little boy. Or he's a grown ass man. I don't I don't like the assertion that. Somebody is more culpable for the violence just by nature of being bigger or or Older. better, <laughs> better at it, you know? Yeah. Oh, well, you knew you could beat him up, so you shouldn't have fought him. The threat of physical violence is real and ever present. Stop acting like y'all just get to run around saying whatever you want <laughs> to whoever and no one will ever touch you. Yeah. That's not life. If that was the way shit worked, we would never have a war. So in that interest, when you are talking, it's me versus you. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, he was bigger. Because once again, if that's not the way he wanted to go about that situation, it's a lot of other things he could have done to make that not happen. And you, in your estimation of whether or not it was a fair fight, did you ever consider the fact that Jordan Poole himself could have avoided that situation by not continuing to engage with Draymond Green or shoving him or not being ready enough to fight when he saw the man approaching him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you think he's going to oh. be handled now that this is a public thing? Yeah, well, first of all, they, they, they already reprimanded Draymond before the video came out, and then the video made it way more damning. Jordan Poole seems to be kind of over it. I've seen him practicing, and apparently he had smiles on his face. But Draymond decided Because it's to not it's not what what people on our side of things are going to try and make it to be. Oh, man, this is going to warp the, mess up the Warriors' chemistry. This is going to, you know, somebody's got to get traded. No, nope. I don't think so. fight. Yep. They fight. You watch men fight in hockey games and baseball on a regular basis, and there is not all of this controversy and gossip around it. Yep. You see black guys fight, and all of a sudden we have to stop the presses, and somebody's got to be removed. So, White baseball players leave the dugout and go join in a dog pile in the middle of the baseball field, and it's a part of the sports culture. Hockey players get penalty time and get to come back and play in the same damn game. Mm -hmm. Especially in this stop case, with we're this. talking about a championship team. And both both players are pretty integral for this for this team for this championship run team so yeah i don't i don't i don't think so yeah i, I think maybe a five to ten game suspension similar to what happened with with bobby portis punching the hell out of miritage a couple years mm -hmm. ago well <laughs> bobby portis definitely got or no miritage left he got he did more. get traded late but i don't think it was like immediately uh, it well, wasn't it wasn't I'm, immediately I'm, 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 they played either. A good portion of that season together after that happened, and then Bobby Portis went on to win a championship with the Bucks. So Shout strange. out to BP. So strange. Um, but yeah, no, I don't. I don't think any, either one of them has to leave. I did hear that Draymond, after uh, you know, saying that you know a leader shouldn't do this type of thing, uh, said that he's going to take some days away from the organization, which 
if that's what it has to be for you, then that's perfectly fine. But I don't think this shouldn't cause either player to be removed from the organization. I, no, I don't, I don't nah, see that. Uh-uh. So then, then you actually would have a chemistry problem. Yes. Because now something that should have been put in, to breast a long time ago has permeated through the season. And wouldn't have been a problem if the video didn't come out. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. It would have just been talk and speculation. They would have been able to ignore it. Somebody put some makeup on Jordan's face <laughs> and we'll go on about our business. In fact, that's what it looked like was going to happen. Until and then the, the video, video came out. out. Mm-hmm. Hey, TMZ is an absolute terror. <laughs> they a are fact. a terror. That's a fact. But it is what it is. This video is out now. So, What did you guys think of the situation? Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and come back next week for more content. Absolutely. And make sure you check out some other videos that we have on things that's happened in the NBA. Uh, And then also make sure you subscribe because anything that happens like this, trust we're going to talk about it. So make sure you subscribe.